Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nikki Clayton, the coach with my close friend, the Thomasville High Legend, Ben Tillman, a master of many sports, excellent Hall of Fame, basketball coach, 19 state championships, <laughs> 12 in men, 7 in women, 2 in cross country, he got the legend himself. Coach Ben Tillman. Coach, how you doing? I'm doing good. It's great to be here. I, I don't know who won all them championships, but it sure sounds good for you to introduce me like that. Hey, Coach, yes, just make sure you leave a check for me. I'm good. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, oh, we here, Coach. You know that war on 84. You know, it's starting to come in. You know, in Florida, this, this game doesn't count for until next week. But in, in Georgia, this thing is really kicking off here. That's right. This is week one. Week one in South Georgia. Um, two cross, two, almost cross town rivalry, but it's a big rivalry between Brooks County and um, Thomasville High School Bulldogs. Man, coach, it, we were able to see that game. We we're gonna talk about it often. That game where your your son shined in that game. Yes, sir. Yeah, he he kind of broke the heart of all the Trojan fans. Um, had two touchdowns that night, especially the game winning touchdown. He said, broke, broke the heart of all those Trojan fans. That's a game everywhere. I'm a bill folklore of history remembers that game. And unfortunately, the people in Brooks County remember it too. That's right. Coach, we had, we had had over 15,000 people go back and see that game. Over 15,000 people have gone back to see that game, Coach. They, they continue. To support that game and they talk about it and go back and see it. And for me, that was one of those games where that was the first time I heard him do that chant, you ain't no bulldog. That's right. That's right. That's our famous chant at the end of the game, especially when the school board is in our favor. And um uh, and it, it, it really was a, a, a outstanding football game that night. Oh, uh, it it was and man, we getting ready to get this thing kicked off. We got First game of the season, the first thing I want to do, coach, is want to make sure that that star running back from Brooks is out there. Yes. That's, that kid is special. Yes, sir. That's, that's number uh, 20, 21, Chris Cole. Uh, I, I hope he's out there. I want to see him play, too. I'm sure the Bulldogs are ready for him. All right, coach, they're going to have to be. He gained some weight. He's about 175 now. Got a little gap there, coach. Uh oh. And the coach, he's on the pocket. Got an arm, coach. You gotta watch him senior. We watched him grow up a little bit in the, in the years that we've been covering Brooks mm -hmm. County. Yes, sir. Really, really fortunate to be able to see the growth in some of these student athletes. And if you just look at the size, 
you know, the sheer number of 100, you know, over 100 young men out here in Thomasville, or 70, 75, or Brooks County, size of three, three, triple. Coach, he, he ran out of that tackle. Oh, wow. Coach, he ran yeah. out of that tackle. Yes, I'm going to have to be able to bring that one that first hit. Oh, wow. I thought he had the first down, but they called him short. Coach, they don't go for it. You know, Bruce kind of never really focused on the special team, especially the kicking game. So they, they typically, they, they pour down. Coaching the way they run the ball. And the Coles, direct step, first down. First down, 30 yard line. I think he's about two or three yards off the line of script before he gets touched. Coach Thomas is going to have to do a much better job than that. It just surprises me that, you know, Brooks is able to move that up, move that line like they're doing. Uh, they, that's right. They are definitely coming off that ball to y'all. Coach, it's going to be a long night. Will, will they wear down? That's the question. Yes, sir. Go. You know, Thomas Field is built for speed. Yeah. Speed and endurance. Beat your cold. Beat your cold. That's a good tackle right there. Who's that coach? Number 34. That's uh, AJ Hill. He's a snap. He's a I appreciate that input you give us with, with them in terms of knowing them. And some of these little kids you kind of help raise. Yes, sir. Now, AJ, his, his older brother is the starting quarterback. I was trying to understand. 12 looked like he was a little confused from Brooke. That must be Chastain, the principal's son. Oh, coach, and they're throwing it to him. He just wasn't open there. Stop the he was going to get the double coverage. Yeah. That's a good decision. You know what? He threw it that back pile on. If you can get there, you can get there. Not in the side. Yeah. 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 One thing about Coach Freeman and the Trojans, consistently year in and year out, these guys, they look good at the beginning of the year. They really do. They look like they're poised, like they know they understand what they're trying to do. And they are, Coach. That, that's what you do when you build a program. First goal again. Much better than John Tyson. Yes, sir. Thomas is going to, they know it's going to take more than one person to bring it down. And, and the leading tackle, number 17, Devin Lewis. We got fourth down and about four, Coach. Here in the first quarter, 821 left in the first quarter. Clock is ticking. Brooks County very methodical in this drive. Hey, right. Coach Freeman so laid back on the sideline right now. It's when it, that defense goes out, he brings the hammer and puts a lot of fire on that team. Back. Back shoulder throw. Yeah, yeah. That got a great rush in by number 11, Thomas Field. Um, Angelo Davis. Well, Thomas Field has to feel real good about themselves right now. Turning the ball over and downs and stopping the progression of the Brooks County Trojans there. Yeah, they started out real aggressive, especially in their running game. Like we was able to make some adjustments along the way to be able to stop it. Now we're going to see what our super sophomore quarterback is going to do. Um, so, a lot of, this is a, a revenge game for Thomas Field. Last year, the game over in Brooks wasn't even close, 42 to 7. That's right. And he was a freshman, he, he should be ready. He's coming out and slinging. They're playing him soft in that zone of coverage. I don't think they're going to stay that way long. And also, number 15 is uh, one of our three star, two or three star uh, wide receivers. Cole Shaw. This will be his, I think it's his fourth year starting. One thing that's going to happen, Brooks is going to hit you, and they're going to hit you with multiple people. 
third down, that was second and one. It might have been mm-hmm. a half yard. Looks like he's is he trying to give him the first down. That's about it. Yep. He said the first down. He's on the chain. So they're going to snap the ball and they move the change yet. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll a good job of peace from Cole Shaw. Second pass to him tonight. Are they trying to feature him, Coach? They're picking on something up. I think they featured him. I mean, he's our best wide receiver, I believe. And um, he's been very consistent over the past years. And this is turn. Okay. It's his turn to be able to step up in what I call in the Pac Man role. I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dog. Okay. Hitch turned it back in, but he still was able to turn the corner. Mm-hmm. Oh, he might be a problem for Brooks today. Yeah, now that's Jay Rain. Jay Rain was a star, uh, superstar running back last year as well as a cornerback for us. He ended up coming on real good for you towards the second half of the season. Yes, sir. sir. First, they had him just solely at running back, and they put him at corner, and uh, it seemed like that that turned him to a whole nother animal, I would say. A whole nother athlete. Uh, he definitely has that breakaway speed to get to the corner. It's the first down. Now, this Thomasville team that I'm looking at right now, it's better than the one we saw earlier in the year last year. They were the same. Yes, sir. That it took a while to adjust to that new coach. Huh? Yeah, it did. I think he's done a great job. He brought in a couple more younger guys um, that have moved past um, some of our past athletes in the past that played uh, football for Auburn State and various colleges, brought them back into the program. And you can see their influence on, on the kids. The third, they, coach, they're running through the gaps in that line. This will be, and they're hurrying up. They got the tempo a little quicker than what I think Brooks is used to. Coach, coach, they're trying to stop it before they get off the field. And they did. Coach Freeman saying something to him over there on the sideline uh, in a stern coach's voice. Is that what that was? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I know you're a good re- uh, liberator. Can you tell us what he said? I can't say it on the air. <laughs> that Coach Freeman's a man after my own heart. He's going to speak his mind now. That's right. I forgot you rap. Y'all going to speak to you. I'm glad you know that. <laughs> I'm glad you know that the true rappers are anyway. That's right. We got a few snakes, but we got <laughs> Thomasville looked really good, Coach Avery. Stream and move on this side so we can get a better look. At Ran out of that chassis. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, man. He took a big hit. Fumble the ball out of bounds. Coach, he took a hit, but he didn't wrap him up. That's right. And I know Coach Freeman's going to tell him. Mm-hmm. He didn't uh-huh. wrap him up. And he's back from times where you can tell already. They, if you don't wrap him up, they're going to keep running. That's how Sophie was there. He ran pretty good as a freshman last year. Like he's living a little bit on the sideline. I hope he's gonna be all right to be able to come back in. Coach, you got a little depth at running back, so you should be all right. That looks like that line moved. Oh, that's a touchdown. Touchdown. Oh, that's a two-yard line. Yes, sir. They've been setting that one up. This is the Looks trying to get play get players in and get some out. Thomas Hill already up on up on the other one. Wildcat on this one. We got Jay Rand at quarterback. So he might not be touched. He didn't get in. No, he, he didn't, didn't get in. No, he didn't. Yeah. I'm sure they blew the whistle when the helmet came off. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, four minutes and 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Thomas Bill knocking on the door. I told you this was a grudge game for Thomas Bill. They remember the game last year. For the last five seasons, they alternated. Yeah. 
Oh, what? Like Thomas, we had to burn a timeout. Yeah, clock was down to four seconds there. That, that quick timeout there, Coach. Too quick. Watch our inside show. Mick and Rick Wednesday live at 7 o'clock this past week. We had Coach Maurice Freeman on. Came on and talked a little bit about the game. We got some more footage from on the event they had last night over at Quickman. Dad, dogs, and decals. So they were put the decals on the helmet. We were invited to attend. We always appreciate the hospitality that we get. Up here in South Georgia, we leave Tallahassee, come up here for South Georgia to be able to cover these football games to true football fans. So they opened it up now. Oh, check out the new. I like you. Oh, no. <laughs> the lights going off. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I brought with the switch. No, oh, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. That's a new added feature that we added this year for our state and our home fans and our fans and all our home games. So we got a nice new light show that we can present to all the fans. Oh, look good over there. It's going to look even better. Once it gets a little darker, yes, sir. That snap skip to him. They go to light show again. I hear you, coach. They were able to take it through. Seven nothing. Thomas Bill with an early lead. They draw first blood. It's so much better than it was last year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's insight. I do game of the week. We'll be right back. Crawfordville Lenders is a place for you to go for your chicken. It's a short drive down Crawfordville Highway located at 2120 right across the street from Walmart. You can get all your fried chicken needs including chicken wings and chicken tenders in your choice of flavor. The boneless chicken sandwiches are made from whole chicken breast and dressed exactly how you want it. You can even order hot chicken. H-A-W-T hot. No need to go to Nashville. It has a great slow burn to it. Try it. We do chicken right. Crawfordville Lenders go there. They're getting ready to go. Second, second session for the Trojans. Good kick. Take it back to the Chiefs. Coach, he's a little fearless. Brings it back to the 25. Yes, he is. He's very fearless. He's able to sit there and catch the gap. Yes, sir. Let's see what's going on. What's going on there, Coach? Uh, look like they got a water break. Uh, water break. Players. Make sure nobody gets dehydrated. Yes, sir. First and ten on the twenty-five yard line for the Bruce County Trojan second possession. Now the chess match goes. Start to see the adjustments. Oh, he, nobody was over there. Coach, this almost really looked like they lined up incorrectly. There was nobody yeah. on that side of the ball. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't understand exactly what they did this for. They were trying to be a few hours to the right. I saw the ball at this point. He came out just to the very next step. He just took off. Took off. First down. Mm -hmm. 
that is the featured back. Probably has about seven carries for about 35 yards already. First down. We got three minutes and 24 seconds to go in the first quarter. Last year, I think, Coach, we had a quarterback and a lot of speed on the outside. Do you think we still have the same speed on the outside that Coach kind of had last year? It doesn't seem like it. Oh, but this one is a better arm. Oh, he underthrew him. Oh. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's got to be. Yeah, that's, that's the best 15 yards you won't get out of there. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, he, he definitely. He was wide open, Coach. Yes, he was. He's a good thing he had some pressure on him. Because yeah, he threw that one off his back, back, back foot. Yeah. That's what it is wrong with him. Well, he was able 15 yard pit. It was different than kind of pro. Pro got a spot on the foul. That's why you were saying that that was a well spent 15 yards. That's right. Whenever you think you beat, hold it, hit it. <laughs> right. Don't give up the six. Yeah, we ain't gonna give up the six, but we'll give up that penalty. We're gonna fight another day. But Coach Thomasville knew something because they had been playing 10, 15 yards off. Mm -hmm. Safety's deep. Here it goes again. Coach, he kept, he's about yeah. nine, 10 yards there. Yeah. We're gonna have to do something about that because he's definitely. They're a feature player, and um, they're just gashing us. But this is near the territory that they were in on their first drive, two minutes and 45 first for seven nothing time still out over Brooks. Quarterback kept this one. Yeah. He's a big quarterback, not a fast quarterback, but a big quarterback. Wow. That's right. Because he sets up that pitch. Mm -hmm. He does. I'm going to tell you, now, it looks like they run behind pick number 60. Coach, he's a young one. He's really not. That's a 10th grade. Jaden Williams from Bruce County. He is definitely a man child on that David Halpins line. He got a little winded last year. Yep. Don't look like he's going to get winded tonight, Coach. Look like he is. I ain't going to say slim and trim, but he's definitely fit. Oh, he's open. Oh, there we go. Got a little pressure on that back side by number 27. 27, uh, Darius McCoy. Coach Simonville is concerned about this passing game from Brooks County. Yeah. They, they are doing a good job of putting people by the pressure on the Yeah, that was Chastain, number 12. He is the principal. Yeah, that is first kind of good. We got a shot of him back for them for Marshall Hill. Yeah, that was really fun. <laughs> well, he's just running over, bro. That should be a first down. Bro. You can get a sustained drive and keep the ball out of Tom Hill's hand. That's about the only way you're going to be able to be in this one. Because Thomasville looks a little bit more lethal than what, mm -hmm. what they were saw back. Yes, sir. I, I do believe so. It definitely has picked up the tempo. Plays like they were snapping all the 10 to 12 seconds, which is really fast for, for a football player. Oh. He's not accurate today. It's not a lot of room. He's going to have to thread the needle for that to get in there because Thomasville is taking that away. Yeah. And they really are. And but you can tell he's not afraid of his own strength. Now he's been trying his best. Just the first game. So a lot of those passes you're going to see that he's missing now, they on in the season, he's definitely going to be connected. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Single lay football is going to have their hands full. He's strokes counted. 131 left. Clock is stopped. 7 nothing. We're in the first quarter. Uh oh, he's about to turn that point. Yeah, that's, that's that was seven yards, isn't it? Yes, sir. You know, well, he turned the corner there, coach. He didn't even turn the corner. He just went at the angle. <laughs> he just went at the angle. Then I ran up to the spot. Wow. We got third and about two. The clock is at one oh five. Thomasville getting a, I mean, Brooks getting a little confidence. Now. Uh, yeah. 
Seems like they're selling in a little bit. Running game, they got the running game going. Um, passing game is not so much, but they definitely have a running game going with the running back and uh, the quarterback. Six seconds, five seconds on that shot clock. Game clock. There he goes up the middle. Coach. Oh, man. Looks like he almost dropped it. Yeah, he's still coming out of there. He got down to the five yard line. He's got uh, number six. The quarterback has oh, something. His name is Jamal Sanders. Coach, he was turning those corners. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. And I think he's at Fort Valley State now. Uh, this way he is. He's at San Francisco State. This guy's kind of feeling in it. It's a big shoe. So it's like he's doing a good job with him right now. Is he trying to get him in there? Is the radio announcer say it fall forward? Yep. 14 seconds, 13 seconds. I don't think they're going to get another playoff. I think Brooks is going to be happy to end up with 7 nothing yards inside four seconds. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Insight. High school. Game the week. Like the coach. The coach, ben we'll be right back. Insights now has its own Roku channel. Insights itself is a dream maker, providing a platform for content creators. Go with Insights Roku channel into 91 million homes. We are strengthening our programs that will continue to educate, entertain, and enlighten our viewers. We will still feature youth sports, Mick and Rick, Insights Magazine, Remember the Legends, and much more. Stay tuned for our creative content. Appreciate your support. Yep. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Coach, see, this probably we have been born eighty four. Is all that coach? It is. And you, I, I love to look out amongst the fans and see, see the suit of blue from Brooks County, see the rings in Thomasville, and uh, just, just the sheer competition between the fans and the two teams. And it's, it's, I really like that. I really like the spirit of both, of both high schools. Right, right. Uh, we got a shot of you here with Brooks County talking to their players. A second down, a second down, and about three. Brooks needs to score this time. They really do. I right, Thomas we to get a stop right now. I think we, we can switch this momentum that they kind of picked up. Direct snap. Quarterback keeper. Direct snap. Just let him run to the corner untouched. Oh, my goodness. He did. Direct snap. Direct snap. Coach, he was good there if he was flag football. <laughs> I do believe you're right. I do believe you're right. I mean, I, I don't. Yeah, I think he got an extra gear. That it's there to get mad. Oh, yeah, you saw his dad play this. I did. I think he's a little bit faster than his dad. Um, he definitely can get to those corners for sure. But they just him in one seventy. <laughs> Oh, he does feel like about 145. See? <laughs> this has always been an adventure for Brooks. Here we go. Call up. Oh, I think that was on the Thomas Field High Court, though. He knocked the boy down over there. He's helping him get up off the field. See, it takes about two or three of them to reach down and try to help him up, Coach. <laughs> That's right. I don't know if there's such a thing as Highway 60, but I think he definitely paved his way for the Trojans. He sure is. Oh, oh did, did we see a call? No, I didn't see the call. It's like they said, it's a do-over. We, hey, time out. It's like you're in the park. Oh, you think they get a chance to get set? <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, right. that was a pretty good kick. It was. All right, we got a seven-seven tie. I think we're in a dog fight. Yes, sir. But coach, you knew it was going to be a dog. Yeah, and I, I, I'm so happy that uh, the game is much better than it was 
last year this time. I was I was short of words, didn't have much to say. <laughs> My boy number sixty got that helmet off and he takes it a slow walk to the bench. <laughs> Coach, he didn't yeah. was any unused energy. I mean, he didn't he deserved every ounce he had. That's day. right. That's right. He came directly out of the field <laughs> and went in the chest and himself a seat. Coach, on the big spot, here's the way he came off. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I don't know where the line is on meeting, but wherever they are, they're gonna have to come to him. <laughs> oh, we got a seven-seven game, eleven fifty-three left in the second quarter. Thomasville is not expecting too much of it. They're kind of short, almost at the 20, but they're lining up at the 15. Thomasville usually had some skill position. We don't like to leave those guys with a crack in it. Yeah, I, I think they want to keep that ball away from number 21. Uh, if he get it, it could, could uh, mean another seven points or six points for the full number. No. Welcome back, South Georgia football. All right, Jay Rand, he got it. Coach, he yeah. has a hole. Yep. Oh, oh. He was one step away. Was the flag on the play? Flag on the play. Coach, he had a back. He had a gap there, and one man to beat. Uh oh, now holding on the board. Early season, coach. That's one of those things that happen in special teams. Right? That's right. Well, Freeman grabbed one of these guys. He's not angry with him because he got his got his arm around and talking to him. When he angry with him, he ain't got his arm around. Him. <laughs> That's right. 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 He's pointing to the hammer. Okay. One thing about Coach Freeman, he's an ultimate teacher, uh, uh, a teacher and motivator. It's one thing that I do admire about him in this program. His young men, they learn how to be respectful, disciplined, and they learn how to be great young young men. Coach, that's kind of the way he, he was brought up when he was at, at, at Bain. A kicker of significant talent. Can, can you tell everybody what his nickname was? F O O T. That's right. Puts. <laughs> you know you got to be a heck of a kicker if your nickname is Foot. Your nickname is Foot. Either that or you're real sorry, Coach. One of the two. That's right. Misdirection. Step it up the middle. They're trying to get him in and out of here. On the, oh, see, there's your boy 60. He's way too slow. That's big. That's big. I mean, it's good. <laughs> and make those, they're trying to keep him fresh. That's what Thomas Bill High is trying to do. Not let him. Oh, he's open. He turned that corner. He's at the 40. He turned up and got to the middle. Midfield still on his feet. All right. There's number five. That's Sai Wilson. Coach, he looked like he got a buck on five. He's a little bit of though. Yes, sir. They got him in that open area right there. That's right. That's Messiah Wilson. <laughs> very electric. Not only a uh, football player, but very electric basketball player. Coach, Coach, they were confused trying to make a defensive substitution. Coach Freeman had to grab one of them and take it and snap it back. They're going to have to make these defensive uh, substitutions much quicker. Yes, they are. Thomas Mill High is snapping that ball on this about four, five, maybe 10 seconds after this gets set. Sure. You got Brooks on the heel. Brooks still not lined up. 10 31. Timeout. You knew that was coming. Yes, sir. You knew that was coming. You got to stop that momentum on them a little bit because it's taking them three plays and they've gotten about 30 yards after that good uh, kickoff return. That's right. And it's football time again. Coach, I need you to tell me something. Mm -hmm. Why is it, uh, I know Thomas is a special place. Why are all these eating places closed after the game? You can't get the Chandler and all of that. They told me, they said, boy, Coach Clayton, that had been you, and it was a football game, and everybody would have been out here putting flowers in the window. <laughs> That's right. 
know why when I was a child, all those restaurants stayed on. Did they? Yes, sir. All of the Chandler's, every, every restaurant down on this way. Now, the ones out on 19, they are open. Uh, Whataburger, McDonald's, and Burger King, they are always open. But the, the mom and pops, they, they, they are usually closed this time in the end of the football games. Man, Chandler's is a stone throw. That's right. It's a stone throw, boy. I'd, I'd have had, I'd been running special. I'd have made enough on game party to shut down the next game. <laughs> that used to be the spot. That used to be the spot. I can imagine. Oh, he kept his, oh yeah, I ran him. Coach, he's throwing it. Oh, he's going to catch that. Oh, wow. He's vastly oh, under wow. throwing. He came yes, back he to him. Yes, That's old show. Size so small wide receiver, Cole Shaw. He is at six, about around six to two, 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 Oh man, I don't know why the referee stopped there because Bruce County had jumped offside. They sure had. Man to man coverage down here on our side. He might not get touched. Oh, somebody came flying in there, boy. He was trying to get him in. Yes, he was. That was number 14 for Bruce County. <laughs> Thomasville is answering. That score by Brooks. They're coming right back down the field, Coach. Yes, they are. I told you, every other year they win. It's hard to get two ends in a row. Right, right. Nothing there on the right that time. That hole closed up on them. That's right. I, I do believe Thomas really got all uh, this inner players got a little bit more speed than Bruce County kind of overall team speed in. And that's a little unusual, Coach. It is. It is very unusual. But I can guarantee your quarterback going to keep that for the next time. Mm -hmm. I hate to take the quarterback out now. They got uh the one wildcat. That has been a successful formation mm -hmm. for them. Yep. Yeah. Number 21 is the quarterback now. Got rich now and he walked Untouched. in. Untouched. Untouched. He's walked in the end zone here. Right. Uh, they go to the night. They go to the night. Uh, Coach, I I heard you pause over here when the light stopped. Yeah, I got nervous. <laughs> Coach, I understand. I understand. I was good high. Brooks. Oh, without answer. Uh -oh. There's a flag. There's a flag on the plate. You're not going to take points off the board. Right, right. Yeah, we'll hope not. Oh, yeah. They're going to let that one go. They're going to let that one go. We're into the second quarter now. 14 to 7. Wait a minute. That wasn't good. They didn't give them. Oh, it's 14. 14. Thomasville up by a touchdown. Already, this is better than the, the first game of the season last year. I think that was 41 7. Right. Well, they, they have responded. Yeah, 42 7. They, yeah, I remember Thomasville went on a run. They started off 1 and 3. They went on an eight game winning streak. That's right. That's right. The coaches really came together, pulled the team together. The fans got behind and supported the kids. And, um, and that's what you need, even when you change the coaches like that. You got to have some community support and you got to be able to rally the coaches. Uh, Coach Delaney has done a wonderful job with that. And uh, you will see the second year in that the kids are playing a whole lot better. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And it's not like this is a senior laden team. There's 96 players out there, only 19 seniors. That's right. Well, he kicked out. They, oh, they took the penalty kick. 
Oh, I'm sure they much rather do that because uh, Brooks is returning, getting good field with this little kickoff. That's right. Cheerleaders going, band going. Yes, sir. I see Coach Freeman taking that. Coach is calling my work. I got that. I'm trying to figure out what's going on on that defense. Sure. Sure. They're going to need to make some adjustments there because right now, Thomasville looks like they're mid season form running this offense. All right. Yes, they do. Thomasville, they they might be something yeah, to deal with this year. They started off one and three last year. I think we were ranked preseason number in the top five. I can believe it. In, in three A in the state. Right. Delay a game on it. Game on on the Trojans. <laughs> Thinking Bulldogs got the Trojans discombobulated. Yeah, sure. I was thinking that. I don't know if I had the same word discombobulated. That's, that's way more syllables than what I use. <laughs> I'm sure you were you. <laughs> I just got to it before. <laughs> <laughs> would have went with. They got a messed up. Oh man. <laughs> Coach, he's surprising me. Mm -hmm. With as big as he is, yeah, he is I wasn't really expecting that type of speed out of the quarterback. No, coach. Then he could turn the corner like that. What is it? He get about eight yards in the second and two. One thing typically doesn't happen, and that is the Brooks County Rooker does not. Now they use got a pause coach. You know, they're going to, they're second hand. Chastain, they go to. I got a first down. Mm -hmm. That's the principal song. Get that ball away. Weston, number 24, he's a junior. Why was he going to George McKinney. Oh, oh coach, coach, look at him hit that hole. He's signaling first down, but I don't know if he got the first down. He might be close. It's like he got about nine. Yeah, he got about nine. Coach, he hits the hole so quick. Coach, I think he's probably having seven yards a carry. Coach, that would be a good pass. Brooks uh, picking up the tempo a little bit. No hurry. Same play. He oh, he almost popped. He almost popped. Almost got it. Almost got it. Almost got Almost got it. 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 Thomas yeah. the highest moving the ball really quickly. But their defense are actually playing really good. Um, Thomas the defense is actually staying strong. Um, hold it. Yeah. Yeah. Up here behind us, yelling, hold it, hold it. It sure yeah. looked like it was. Yeah. 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 And he just told Coach, my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was holding it, but the referee. I don't say that. Don't say that. Thomasville already talked to the ref. <laughs> Coach, we got sec second and three, second and four. Oh. oh got somebody else. All right. All right. He oh, leaned a little bit too much and couldn't get the balance uh -huh. back. That was number 11. Davis, like you was in on the blitz. He sure was. First down. You got 7.46 left. We see that thumbs up. We appreciate y'all. It's a high school game of the week. Hey, we got those mobile apps. You can download us on your phone, iPhone, or Android. Insights put in the app. Oh, they had, oh. They had, they had the screen set up. Oh, 
Thomas Bill Dodge, the bullet right there. Big number 60 got out there and number 50 got out there. Coach, they didn't get ready to they get ready to play. They have a trail here. Yeah? Yes, he was. They wouldn't have stopped till they got the channels. <laughs> They probably would have got a double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger, Chuck. <laughs> double cheeseburger. Well, I, number 60 probably wouldn't have got no double cheeseburger. I think he would have got him a, a double champ. <laughs> there you go. Double cheeseburger ain't going to hit him. Hey, he's going to tie it on. He sure is. Change his motion. But he just threw that last one on that screen side on mm -hmm. and it backfired on and since I threw Daniel Week, I was telling you, we have a mobile, mobile app. We just got them for a, a month ago. If you pull out your phone right now, go to the app store. You could download, download inside IMS, II, JCF, 2 in the middle. You can follow us everywhere. Oh, he's no, wide open. He's 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 wide 7-16. And man, this game is going back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. I tell you what, coach, this is what you want from the first game in a rivalry. And this is the kind of atmosphere you want. This is the kind of game you want. Um, this is what you expect from a Brooks County Trojan and a Thomas Field High Bulldogs football game. You're exactly right. Coach, they talking to you. Coach, they talking to what is it? They are taking a long time, coaching down to 10 seconds. Offensive coordinator over here trying to call something, they'll never get the playoff. Yeah. No, they will not. They will not, not get the time. They're not going to get it all. Like, they didn't take the time off. Uh, they didn't take the time off. If he did, he took it out at 0.1 seconds. They look very confused then. I think they're just trying to test the leg of this young kid. I'm sick, folks. We're going to back him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to back him up a little bit and just see how good he can kick. That's, okay. that's what you think. Yeah, you're going to see how good he even got the, We even got a kicker body. <laughs> so he even got a kicker body. Coach, I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> this young fellow could have played home. You know, right? Yeah, oh, right. Like Oh, he missed it. I told you, I told you. I'm afraid that might come back to the ball again. That was, yes, sir. I didn't quite get that one. I'm a little confused on that. That's step at 14, 13, 7, 16, 20, which means somewhere Brooks County is going to be chasing that point. And, and our favorite guy, number 60. I know that that's the closest bitch to Ricky coming off. Yes, sir. And he goes straight there and he has a seat. Coach, he doesn't get a seat. He plops down. Coach, he plops. That's my guy right there. That's my guy. Coach, I Sign over there, Thomasville, without getting it. Yes, I think um, I mean, we could be under construction and uh, have a difficult time finding parking for a lot of our fans. Um, but you know, hopefully, then they start trickling back in. Uh, so that might be a little deterrent um, for them. Coach, they were they had lined the, the kick. On the wrong marker, they lined it up on the 35. All the coaches from Brooks were yelling, get the ball on the 40. That's what you expect from the first game. Yeah, but not typical for Brooks. Playing a good team. Well, Coach, he looked like he intentionally kicked it over, but I don't think he did because I just saw Coach Peter. Okay. Coach, 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 Coach,
he was that way on a different show. It's still up there, ladies and gentlemen. You can go back and see his interview. He was entertaining. Follow Insight We're on YouTube, Instagram. We have our own Roku channel. We're on 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your mobile apps. You can keep up with us all day long, everywhere. Covered the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Ooh. Coach, he, he the last, in the first quarter when he ran that play, they were very open. He had to put a little bit more zip on that pass yeah. that time. And luckily that he did, because 54 had in that ball in his sights. Just one step, two step. So, so that's that chess match we talk about. Defensive coaches making those adjustments. Mm -hmm. Brooks a little bit more committed to the run, Coach. Got the guy in the box now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, Coach Freeman's known for that front move. Uh, defensive front, and uh, he's been doing it for years. And it's just just like fine wine. He's just going to keep turning it over and over and over. And eventually, the kids will pick it up, and they'll be fetching the city. Coach, you're exactly right. Third and ten. This first time ever. Coach, he wide open over here. Coach, he might go by. Grabbing him by the shirt, that yes, pulling that, that shirt tail, kept him from getting in the end zone. Yes, he did. That was a great catch by Side Wilson. Good play call, folks. What about this? A whole lot more sure of himself than he did last year. He did stand back there. Calm, folks. Oh. Brooks, not substituting it as much. That, that's one of Thomas Bill's favorite plays right there. They're running for a fine time. 635 in the second quarter. Like a quick screen to one of their favorite players. Jay Randall. Oh, he's coming across the middle wide open. It's hard to go down. Hard to get him down. Still fight, huh? That's a lot of fighting, that young Yes, sir. It's a good thing Brooks has sent somebody else because he's about to pull this foot loose. That was Malgin Pittman. That's a, that's a sophomore as well. A lot of talent on, a lot of young talent on this Thomasville mm -hmm. High team. Coach, and again, I'll touch. It's the second touchdown of the night. Coach, they've run that for two touchdowns. And it's gone in. It's time to untouch. Five, 58. Thomasville High goes back up again. That's right. And we have a score now, 20 to 13. It's going to be interesting. Jay Bobby. Jay Bobby. Jay Bobby. Jay Bobby. Jay Bobby. Jay
I mean, you got to love these football people in South Georgia, then. They're saying, hey, that quick tempo got them fooled a little bit. They got them giving back some of that lunch. They're on that sideline. We had wondered how long Brooks County could be able to hold on to that. 21-13, are they, they going to kick it off this time? They have had good returns so far. Angle that one. Out of bounds. 21 13, 5 58. We're going to have a special guest. We got a new principal at Thomasville High. Come on and be our guest at halftime. Helps when you have the legendary coach Ben Tillman around. He knows everybody. Everybody knows you. This is Insights High School Band of the Week. We appreciate you being with us. Yes, we do. And here we go. We're back. Brooks has to keep answering every time. This Thomasville showed no sign of slowing down. When they turn the corner that time, I stand and tackle out there. Thomasville High. 545. It would behoove Brooks County to use up as much of this time as they can to close out this half. But they do not want to give the ball back to Thomasville at this rate because Thomasville has not started to slow down. But they can, we got a receiver right here. Nobody's within 15 yards of it. Oh, double gap. You could have had that one. Could have had that when he knocked it down and he could have caught it. Knocked it down. That one would have been easy to pick off. He might have been going towards putting that one away. Landon Smith. Second down. Third down. This Brooks might give this ball back way too much time that morning. Nice catch, but it's not enough. It's fourth and about five. Are they going to punt? We have not had a punt yet. The decision's already been made. Coach Freeman's walking away from the middle. It looks like they're going to kick. He's thinking about it. He doesn't want to get the ball back to Tom Field this soon, but he might not have a choice. It's four minutes, 47 seconds left, and the clock is ticking. He does not want to get the ball back to him already because that's way too much time for Thomasville. And the way they're moving the ball, Thomasville was set. Brooks County was a Brooks County call the timeout. Should have called the timeout. We get ready to kick that extra point. The Insights High School Game of the Week. This is Mickey Clayton, the coach. And again, the legendary Ben Tillman here. He, he went and got the principal. We're going to interview him at halftime. I'm surprised they didn't put the shoulder pads on him and let him go out there. Y'all don't see him up here. Yeah, I think I scared everybody. They were seeing him come out there with the shoulder pads. So I think he was down back on the bus with the home. Hey, well, at least his football jersey would have fit him better than I'm not going to say. <laughs> I'm not going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My principal was a little bit out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he can still put on his He can still put it on. And we were going to interview Coach, uh, Dr. Chastain, but we thought about it, and he was being a dad. He was with his son and doing an activity right there. You know, he didn't need to be principal. He needed to go on and be dad. You know, it's not many times to, get to be that and carry that role out. That's correct. Uh, I, I had the pleasure of actually watching my kids play. I could just sit there and watch the game and eat that. Yeah, that, that's a special time, man. Can't get it back. Oh, you can't. Oh, 
127. Oh, that was, almost got to that one. We got 422. Coach, talk about the guy you have with my Cleveland Browns is trying out as an undrafted free agent at linebacker. He, you know, I watch every play the Browns do. They, he's had some of these. He cleated a few of them. Yeah, as it's Charlie Thomas, who graduated in class 18 from Thomas Hill High School, uh, played, played college football for uh, from Georgia Tech. And um, yes, he is a phenomenal athlete. Not only that, he also has a degree from Georgia Tech. Mm. He's very intelligent. No, Coach, say that again. Say he that has again. A from Georgia Tech at 12. Not only is an athlete, he's a scholar as well. So, so we're real proud of Charlie. He's, he's on the roster right now for the Cleveland Browns. Uh, he's been doing really well these first uh, games they've had. And so hopefully, hopefully they'll, they'll give him an opportunity. The coach turning that corner again. Yes, he is. Devontae Coleman. He has a flag. I think that was going to be called back home. Coach, he was one of those outstanding athletes from Thomasville that you didn't have on the basketball team? Yeah, he played his first couple of years. But, uh, you know, you can start tell when the kids start living more school than the other. So it's always good to to be flexible like that and not, you know, try to make a kid do something that he's really not in love with. And so, uh, but yes, he is an extreme athlete, great talent. Uh, got a chance to coach him on the basketball court uh, his, his ninth and tenth grade year. Man, you know, with basketball coaches, we always like to have somebody who played football because they were not afraid of contact. That's correct. That's correct. And he definitely was a leader, uh, not only on the on the court, but also in that locker room. Sometimes you need those guys in that locker room to hold things together. It don't seem like it's going the right way. He coach. is he's throwing that football. Yes, he is. Yes, he is, Coach. That's all. He's right at the first down, Mark. These young kids don't mind jumping up and telling you it's the first down. Do no, Coach, they don't. 355 left. I told you, I thought it was too much time for Thomasville to have that. They have not slowed down at all on offense. This, they're in midseason form, first game. I'm just really impressed with Cam um, Hill. He has an outstanding job. He's, he's sitting he sits around. And not only him, Sam Wilson is doing a great job at receiver. The slot receiver, he's doing a great job. And it, they're being real patient, Coach. They just taking little pieces, little chunks. You see a flag on the play. They got a sideline one on the dogs. Coach, what's that for? <laughs> uh-huh. 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 I don't think I'm going to comment on that. But... Coach, you took the fifth. Yes, I did. Mm, that, that's a cute dog answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're going to hold something close to the bench. I'm not mad at you. Oh, so it's outside. Free play. And there's another flag should have been right there. He's like them slits, though. Now, Coach, they've been running it so well. It's been effective for them. They see him in man to man cover. That's exactly what they're going to. Brooks County went to that eight, nine man line, trying to slow down the run, and then they come back and throw the slant on him. Brooks County got the uh, opening kick, didn't it? So that means Brooks will get the ball to start the second. Mm-hmm. I mean, Brooks will get the Thomas Bill. Thomas Bill. Oh, oh there you go, Coach. Up. It's the 25. He's got the touchdown. He's going to put six on the board. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What a great run. What's that about six yards? Coach, it was about that. Oh, there you go with those lights, folks. Man, we said it was way too much time for them to have the, uh, the ball and close out this corner. Coach, he went up the middle, untouched. That's right. That's the speed you used to see in Brooks County. Did. That's right. That's what they gave us last year. And, uh, and so we, we, we got to get some get back. Oh, uh, yeah, Coach. This one could get ugly quick, folks. And that's good. All right. 28 to 13. All right. Got 302 left in the half. And right about now, Thomasville. Ah. 
It's rolling pretty good, Coach. That's right. Coach, we said this was a payback game from last year. And it wasn't close. And right about now, it's three minutes and two seconds left in this quarter. Brooks hasn't shown the ability to score in a big piece. They've been coming down the field small pieces at a time. But that was a lightning strike there. And Thomas Field scores quick, though. They got to be kind of special um, to Coach Delay to know that um, Coach Graves is on the other side. Oh, yeah. With the players that kind of grew up. That's right. Oh, yeah. He might want to head to the bus early. <laughs> See, they just trying not to, they're kicking away from him, coach, over there. Coach. That kid, that kid is tough. Yes, he is, coach. Number, number what number is that? That 19? Number 12. Number 12 from first game. Jordan McCann. Great job as a special team. 254 left in the half. How important is it for Brooks to be able to score now, though? Oh, it's very important. It's very important because you won't see that ball until the second session of the, of, uh, of after the third quarter. Come back out after the third quarter. Thomas will have to receive the ball. So you need to go down as a Trojan to go down and put some points on the board. You don't want to go down three touchdowns against those mighty Bulldogs. Not today. Uh, Thomasville has scored every time they've had the ball. They've had the possession four times. They've scored four touchdowns. That's correct. 28 to 13. Which still does not take away from Brooks County having an outstanding program class A. Single A. It's still going to be something to reckon with in that place. That's right. They really are. They, that's what I think the coaches are betting on. They're just trying to get to late October. I tell you that. Yeah, Chris Coleman, right there, boy. Coach, they had an angle on him, and then he still turned the ball. He, he, he has a different, different gear about himself. He's gonna really do some special things in single leg football this year. Coach, his, his dad was a special running back. Wasn't he, he, was. he wasn't one of those guys who ran for six thousand yards during his career. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They, I think at that time, I think he broke Christian Walker's record, a uh, rushing record in high school. Just type about it. About it, coach. Oh, look like we got Hitchcock. Number 10. Number 10, he hobbled up. The coach is just trying to run the clock out. It's called left, it's called right. Two minutes and 12 seconds left in the half. Thomas Hill. Back in that zone, cover. Trying to throw underneath. Mm, oh, my. Why would he have come this way? I don't, I don't know. know. I'm thankful that he did. The first down, 157. Number three doesn't look very big for the Trojans. Coach, we were in the locker room yesterday and got a chance to see and spend some time with these guys. They are really very good. Young, too. Really good. Coach, he, oh, he, he lowered the helmet there. Uh oh, uh oh, we got a fight. Oh, got one going there. Yep. Got one there. Oh, There's the flag. It's still going. Way to pull him away. That's right. That's that's leadership right there by the quarterback. That's leadership. That's leadership. That's what you want to get. get and you see, Coach Freeman got him too. That's right. And the Thomasville coaching staff out there. That's Both right. coaching staffs out there separating them, getting law and order. Okay. Thomasville was, I mean, uh, Brooks County was not expecting what they did today for Thomasville. That's right. Maybe that's what it was about. Maybe that's what that was about. 
Last time we saw him, Jamal Sanders went down for Brooks last year and changed the direction of the rest of the season for him. That's right. I think that game was against Irwin County. Was it? it was. It was against Irwin. Coach Freeman's out. He's at the 48. Consultation with his couple with his with his player there. Both coaching staff did a good job of immediately responding to it and getting their players under control. That's right. And that Coach Graves over there walking back in the 40. That's him. That's Coach Graves. He looks different than Blue. <laughs> You're not in your school colors over there. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. He's not in his school colors. He's not in Brooks colors or Thomasville. He well, he, I, mean, he's I, mean, I mean, they, they red and blue. They red, blue, and white. Help him out, coach. Yeah, yeah, I, I ain't gonna let you get him like that. He got, he got the blue on. But if you remember the game in 2018, or 17, 18, uh, we had the same type of scenario. Thomas Bell High was losing, and uh, Coach Brady on the field got the stuff. I was a late hit by Bruce Harry Trojan. Change Changed the, the complexion of the game. Right. Changed the complexion of the game. He went out there up. Right. And his team responded. That's right. One of the better games we on Insights have done. I say all the time, we got over 15,000 people went back and watched that game. That's Those right. Independent views. Not the people who went back and saw it 10 or 15 times themselves. <laughs> Yeah, because I know I at least saw at least eight, nine, nine hundred times. <laughs> oh, no, that was, that's the number one game that Insights has ever done. I didn't watch the whole game. I just watched number three as he was going from the side to go across the end zone. His last name happened to be too. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. That, that was, that was uh, his name was Benjamin Tillman. Third. Oh, yeah. Well, coach, that you ain't no bulldog. <laughs> they, man, they performed. They cut up that night doing that. That's right. Yeah. That's the game. Thomas Bill sold a lot. Their allotment of tickets in two hours. That's right. Both teams were undefeated. That's right. Undefeated. Wow. And Brooks was putting them to sleep. Yeah, listen, they jumped out on the school. Fast and in a hurry. Sir. No, I think they just trying to trying to wrap this one up now. I don't know. He got him open outside. And keep running. Put his head down. Oh, wow. They called the penalty on that block. That was a vicious block. Yes, sir. Right back to the block. Top of the coaches out there again. One, two, one left in this long minute and 45 seconds in this quarter. I thought we saw a play, coach. Yeah, one at 41. That is the 40 yard line. 40 yard line. Somebody going to play. Somebody going to move back. Oh. I see 21 back out there with a trojan. Big penalty there, coach. Yes, it was. Thomasville needed to be have that ball moved back because a touchdown now would still give Brooks some momentum going in at halftime. That's right. So we saw Jamal Sanders, Brooks County, when he got hurt, when they snatched him by the collar. The kid didn't play another game when they snatched him. Yeah, he had safety is number one. Yeah, I remember that tap. When they did that, they didn't make a no play came out. Ladies and gentlemen, you're here watching the war on 84. What a way to start out Georgia football season. Wow. Wow. Looks like it's complete. Coach, oh, who's the quarterback uh, then? Uh, number 11? Yeah, number 11. 22 was the quarterback. They waved it off. It was close. Yes, it was. Coach, another sidearm throw. 109 left in the, the second quarter. Third down. 
Insights High School Sports. It's our game of the week. Opening up the football season here in South Georgia at a place where we've always been made to feel like. Coach, how did he come through there? Coach, wow. he, didn't, he might get a first down, Coach. And he got a first down. All of them independent. Yes, it was. 57 seconds left. Individual effort, Coach. That would not have been 20 yards. He stumbled from 19 to that 20. Clock is moving, 50 seconds. Long snap count. Get ready to run it again, so got him open. Oh, oh no, he wasn't close. That's picked out by number 24 for Thomas Field. He's trying to get around to the end. Oh, folks. That's a big turnover. There's 30 seconds left. That was a huge turnover by the frozen. Coach, I thought he would have been better that time doing what he had been doing was running. Yeah. Something going on between the coaches and number 21 from Brooks. The Thomasville coaches were saying something to him. He was saying something back. That's right. Probably exchanging Twitter handles. Mm -hmm. Big game for Thomasville. That's right. We opened the show up with saying this was a, a revenge game and Thomasville had something to prove from that first game. Coach is down here still with him at the 35. Yeah. Brooks County defense on the floor, on the field. It's a lot of conversation going on over at Thomasville over there at the 40. Get closer for that. Coach, Coach they going in at halftime like this, or are they going to try to put something on the board? No, Coach, Coach a good screen. We'll, we'll see. Coach, they safety. He's up to the 50, Coach. A lot of John going on over there. Players and coaches got really smart controls. But one thing I did see, Thomasville coaches sprinting down that sideline and getting in the middle of it to break it up. 22 seconds left. So it should be interesting to see how the second half unfolds. Folks, you said a gunslinger. You said the gunslinger. You called it. Oh, man. Wow, he underthrew. He sure did. He underthrew the He was open there, folks. You called it. You said he was a gunslinger. Right. Yeah, one on one on the side out. One on one on the outside. No safety help. No safety help. Under three balls. Brooks making these defensive substitutions a whole lot quicker now. Came out of that eight man line. Thank you. It's tempo. It's actually pretty good. Screen. A lot of blocking in front. Outstanding defensive play. All right. Push this whole time out right here. It's going to be good. He took the time out. Here from the 45. Coach, he's playing with a <laughs> he got a sense of purpose. He's trying to send a message. Not just to the trophy. No, that's true. That's true. Coach, they had that eight game winning streak. They salvaged the season. They didn't lose again to the playoffs. 
third round of the playoffs. Oh, excuse me, third round. They were gone one game away from the state. One game away from the final. I love the judges, football coaches. They work. They work. See Coach Freeman, 40. Would you like to be in that huddle at halftime, Coach? Oh, which huddle? <laughs> oh, we're going to put you in BC. We're going to put you in with Coach Conrad. No, I don't know if I want to be in that one. They, they took the time out to run, Coach. I don't think I want to be in that one. Say so you don't want to be in that one. No, sir. And that's the end of the first half. Brooks County has a way to come back because right now, Thomasville is rolling on them. Oh, I know it. Right there, we're going to get you on the camera. Right. We appreciate you coming up and talking to me. Sir, I heard it speaking at you, I know. No, I didn't hear anything. Oh. <laughs> you were tough, man. You came up with me. You put the show pants on. No, the thing's over with. The thing's over with. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest with us. First year principal from Tom and Tomfield High, Mr. Eddie Arthur. Walked up and he told him, said, man, he looked like he put on some shoulder pads. Uh, he said, that wasn't him. Oh, man, just uh, congratulations to your point. Thank you so much. Uh, it means a lot. Knowing that we have representation, leadership, and from that, He's a young kid. You had him in middle school, didn't you? No, no, no. This is my first year in Thomasville. Uh, Weren't you at the time of middle school? No, sir. I came from Turner County. Okay. Turner County. And I was the assistant principal slash athletic director. I was there for three years. In my first nine years, I was at Tim County. Tim County. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But it's still my labels, though. I take them K through 12. They find one all nation. Let's go. Right, right. I think if you're really, really active, uh, what's going on? Suppose you played sports yourself. Yes, sir, I did. What did you play? Uh, football. I, I wasn't good enough to play basketball. I, I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. But my football coach said, hey, son, I need to be right here on this D-line for your three chips. So I was like, that's, that's what I need to play. So this is your passion, being able to see some of this. Yes, sir. So I'm trying not to coach. I'm trying not. That's why I stand in the back of the end zone. I'm trying not to coach. So I let the coach do their job. Yes, sir. But see, even with the outstanding athletic program, Thomas, and that's what we have the three. We have the three athletics of academics and the arts. So I feel like we operate in the spirit of excellence and everything that we do. Every single day we step foot in that building, we have a spirit of excellence. And that's who we are. No matter if it's on the football field, if it's in the classroom, or if it's in the day auditorium, we're going to be excellent. Share some of the, the academic things that the students have done on the spot. I don't really like to talk. About academics and, and the kids that you have on schools all over the nation. Yes, sir. I, I'm proud to say we had senior simply on Thursday. We had over seven eight kids who are going to have three graduations. They're going to be attending the University of Georgia. So, so that's something that I'm extremely proud of. We had Miss Azalea. She won, uh, I think it was Future Leaders of the Year. We celebrated her at the Board of Education on today, as a matter of fact. We have kids who are doing great. Every single day in our building. Now, like I say, athletics is great to drive the spirit, but academics is what's going to drive the community moving forward. Yes, sir. So we're going to be great. Uh, anything that you have that you want inside the 
something with come out and represent you, talk of what you do, just let us know. Um, Tillman always knows how to how to reach us and I'll give you my car you can reach us. And we be elated to come out and cover something that you're doing. Because at the end of the day, as we would award the students the highest opportunity, it's not a responsibility. And the number of parents that responded to the fact that they spent all that time talking to sons and daughters about the they would get noticed in the district. And then they got noticed. It goes a long way in terms of us being able to make sure we put kids back in the community and be successful. Yes, sir. So our commitment to you is to be able to be there for something that, that you need us to do or want us to do. Yes, sir. You might say. Get insights from you. We, we got a show or we're doing something. See if they can come over and plug the doors. Uh, we have our own Roku network. Uh, we're on 24 7 insights on our mobile apps, iPhone, Android phone, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. We, we, but right now, you're, you're on everything. You're on everything? Yes, sir. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> See, even this last week, we were in nine different countries. We were on three countries. We were in Africa. Yes, sir. So, we're proud of what we've been able to do, but to do it is because of people like you and what you're doing that we want people to be aware of the success of your students. Yes, sir. You know. So what is it? What is some of the things that you're looking forward to doing? I know you just kind of just came off, but I know you have a vision. What are some of the things that you um, my vision once again is to operate in the spirit of excellence? I'm a servant. I know what I'm here for. I'm here to serve our kids. And, and I can't do anything without the great staff that's behind me. They don't want to, they lift me up. So my job is to come in and give the best effort that I can, remove any obstacles out of the way for my teachers and students so they can be the best version of themselves. I want kids when they leave Thomasville City that they can be great contributors to the community and society. They're going to be the future doctors and lawyers and teachers and principals. And my job is to make sure that they reach their full potential every single day. That's my job. I'm just a servant. I'm just a servant who has the privilege of being amongst this great standard, great community, and great student. Okay. As you come in from Thomasville, how much of adjustment has it been from the Um, uh, See, here's the thing. Uh, I, I think kids are universal. Kids are the same. Um, the only thing that I had to do, I had to learn the heartbeat of this community. So it was an adjustment for me to learn the heartbeat. Once I see the passion of everybody in this community, it was real easy for me to fall in line and just do what I do and just be myself. Come in and try to work hard every single day. Now, is it true you with the town of Nick? No. Uh, no, sir. I did not go to town of But what I will say is this there's something that's on my budget list. I do want to go and watch uh, on the 500. Um, I would like to go and be a part of that experience. That. So, no, sir, I have it, but I will. Since you said we're going to say that's going to happen. How about it? Hey, look, what, what institution did you go to? Well, I went to all that state. Over there, where yeah. Queen Gray is. Yeah. Yeah. I was going around through and through. Shout out to ASU. They gave, they were the first. See, here's the thing about education. Sometimes there are people that see stuff in you that you don't even see in yourself. When I went to ASU, they poured it to me that I had the spirit of excellence, but I didn't even see it myself. So what they did that had not had something in me. I just walked over to the next one. Oh, yeah. ASU, yeah. you went there many times. I was already laid there. But after that, it's a fan. Everybody deserves each other to be successful. Wanted to do well. And it did everybody part of rival each other. I feel the competition. I thought of that. Every time the ASU never won, Jackson State, yes, sir. A victory was won. But I want to thank you for coming. I appreciate you. Sharing a little bit of yourself, us that energy. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, you see it. We didn't do a pre meet. We didn't do all the whole thing. We were talking about he just on the fly. Yeah, that's why I'm sweating on camera right now. Because this is who I am. <laughs> this is who I am. Coach, I appreciate it. And uh, anytime you can come to Thomasville, you're welcome. We, we would love it. We have you on. And anything that we can do to achieve, let us know. Yes, sir. I would like to leave with this if I can. Small victories every single day. Small victories matters. And that's what we're doing at Thomas Bill City. Thank you so much for having me. If you guys need me, I'm here.
And we appreciate that because we know the sincerity in which you say that is something very, very special. One, two, talk and talk!
has a decal, and that decal is in honor of Coach Mitchell. Worked at this school for 38 years. It's the only school he's ever coached. And I've been here for 20 years, and all 20 of my years I worked with that dude. And it feels a little funny being on the sideline and not being able to see him down on that other end. And it feels a little funny being on the sideline and not being able to see him down on that other end. Me and my advisor. Dude gave me my first job as a head coach. No head coaching experience. Wasn't much of an interview. You would have got from Bruce County, is what he said. He, Mr. Terry, Clay Lee Phillips came to visit me up in Macon. I turned the job down. He said, no, oh, man, this, you, this is your destiny. You, you got to come home. I had no sense to follow instructions. Only mistake I made, I never should have left. But as a young, hot head, 34 year old, got into an argument with the superintendent, he said, my way on the highway. And I said, which way on 84 you want me to go? And I left a great group of young men to a child. Stayed mad at me for a couple of years. I didn't really explain to him why I left. Maybe I hadn't grown up enough. But I had an opportunity to come back in 2008 because of Coach Mitchell called me and said, if you don't have no job interview, you need to show up February 14th. Showed up. The rest is history, man. Two state titles. Get to the third quarter here. Man, this is a little bit surprising. Well, if you look at the team and how they ended it, 
Somerville should be the favorite. I don't think so, especially with all the kids you got coming back and the size of the program. I think that Thomas will be victorious or chosen. Yes. You can never uh, measure the heart of the champion. That's what uh, Coach Freeman and the Trojans are. So we just need to make sure that Thomas feels we can continue to keep chopping at this, chopping at this tree, just keep chopping. There's my boy number six over the last one to be the field. Yes, sir. And see, to, to give you a comparison a little bit, the Tallahassee school it would be almost like uh, bad and high playing with it. Size, mm -hmm. single A, and three A. Yeah. That, now, that's not to say that there has been some times that Bad and High has beat Rich. Mm -hmm. There's been some times that Bruce has beat Thomasville. You know, but Coach Freeman, he comes from that family school that we don't play the best we can play. And at the end of the day, it ought to make us better. That's correct. That's correct. That's one thing that I've always pride myself on as a coach. In my mom reaching games, I wanted to play the best and biggest school that I could. I wanted my kids to start having that tough, tough mentality early on in the season. Coach, that 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 um that attitude serves you well. It serves you exceptionally well. That was like us when I was coaching the women at Florida and him. We played Auburn, we played Florida, we played Andy Landers at the University of Georgia. We we played all those people. That's right. All right, so let's kick down here. That was still a little bit of energy from the from this Brooks County bench mm -hmm. uh, on that play. Yeah, you know, I, I'm absolutely certain. I, I don't know how it's going to end up playing, but I'm sure most people got their attention. Have I, I totally agree. I can only imagine who was sitting in that box. You lose, but it's a way you lose. You know, he, you know, he does, he's the number one in guys to do it. And at the end of the day, he's made some defensive adjustments. And I'm sure Thomas Bill has left some things on the shelf from the first half. That's land again. That's one of the times it didn't work. That's right. They got a little pressure on that quarterback that time. And I think we had one. Third and ten, and they dropped a bomb for about forty-five yards. It hadn't been often that uh, their offensive play did not work for them. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, audience, give us a hit up. Tell us where you are. Tell us what your favorite high school team is. Let us know. Oh, he got a piece. Yes, he did. And put his head down and ran over. That's right. Boy, he, Thomas Bill has been impressive. Good little running back, number forty-two. They're waiting on that defensive signal from the sideline, and they get trouble getting people in and out. They didn't get them off on time. Didn't get them off on time. Now, there's a quick one there. Defensive substitution. He's sprinting out there. Now, the guy who's ever coming out, he's sprinting out. Coach, they ran that defensive sequence there with 10 players. Yes, they did. Wow. They ran the He is running straight up the middle now, coach. Had a three-yard game. They told they ran the last play with 10 minutes on defense. Where y'all from? Even if you're watching the game and you see it, watch it on tape delay or you see it later, just try to tell us where you're from. Hit us up. Let us know. Tell us who you'd like to see, what team you would like to see. Right, they got trips on the right. Sprint one over, throw your screen. They hadn't been able to defend that tonight either. Coach, wow. what did you say? How many plays they've been running? Six. Six plays. That's all they run. Same six plays. Getting in there quick. Getting off. See, coach, coach they're confused again. Yeah. They ain't get off the field. Boy, they have a they they have a defense from 
Brooks County confused. They must didn't have enough on them. Because it didn't look like that they got off the field in time. See, they had 12 men on the field. So they did have 12 on the field. <laughs> but that's but that's not the first time. We didn't show that thing. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. And it was right in front of them. There you go again. Okay, two went in. So one came out. Of course, they got three men out there again. See, they just jogging. Yeah, right. They blew the whistle that time. I guarantee. This will not happen again for Brooks. Now, for every other opponent on Thomasville's schedule, I better pay attention. That's right. Tempo, tempo, tempo. Yes, sir. You're not ready for it. You're going to be a big one. We got Thomas County Central coming up next. They were 12 and 1 last year. They beat Thomasville 31 zip. Mm hmm. Those games, are, those games, are important to Thomasville to get those games back. That's right. That's right. Thomas, look at that wide open. Wow! Let's go. Oh. Say, that's why you got him in there. That's right. Wow, mm -hmm. coach. Well, that that was a, with a quickness. What you call it? Lightning striking. Lightning striking. You threw that sucker on a line there, folks. Good thing about it. That's good. Good thing about it. The important fact is just in the 10th grade. Hey, you can see the maturation process already start to uh, see how he's playing. Back there, the fight doesn't get rattled. Mm -hmm. Really good job. Was first game of the South. Oh, coach, that's 35 13. And it's a party over there, Thomasville High. On his side, coaches out here trying to run. It is a six play drive. That's right. Now, what you about? Like they about to get ready to crank up that. You ain't no bull dog. So. <laughs> I do like to hear. They get that thing going, boy. Brit has been flipped from the opening game last year at Brooks. That is a tip off. Thomas Bill High had a mission. They had a point to prove. They right, kicked it away from 21. Ooh. 12 received it again. Oh, he fumbled it that time. Didn't he? Yeah. He fumbled it out of bounds. He's a little fearless, though, Coach. He is. He's a tough, tough little running back. Slot receiver, Troy King. Coach, because they are definitely not kicking to your ball. Over the no, they, they're not going. They're not going to try to kick that ball. Too that wouldn't be a good practice. They can't kick the ball to. Because we're so good. Yeah, they just got to Boy, that Thomasville defense is hungry, folks. They, they digging up bones. Oh, he fumbled that. And was able to pick it back up. This is good. Second and 11. Uh, Thomasville High. See, it's kind of a self inflicting injury. It's killing Brooks right now. And Thomasville is taking advantage of every one of them. I think Coach Freeman said that he was going to be gone this year. Uh, but 
you know, his young is not like everybody else's. I will, They're cold. I will say number 60 has had done his job to do. That young fellow don't want to come down. He's still up. Still up, coach. Still up. Good move by the coaching staff. 840 left. 3513. Coach, he came by the door side. Fourth down. Coach, you down three touchdowns. It seems like you got to put the ball in there. Coach, hey, coach you're you going to go for this fourth and two. No doubt about it. Those so three minutes. They can't afford it. They had not shown the ability to stop them yet. Chris caught by. He's trying to tell Chris where to line up. Oh, that's oh, first down. Now he's with that press. Now, this is unusual for a coach Franklin team to, to be cramped up. It's very unusual. The whole coaching staff, except minus Coach Freeman. Live, seven forty nine. Brooks after having extended drive just to keep the. Oh, somebody went the wrong way. She did. He made a quick decision. Let me turn it over. I wonder if Chris Cole was wrong. Well, that's not I'm trying to tell Chris last time. But it's not. Because they got they to keep the ball out of Thomas Field's hand. Yes. Thomas Field strike real quick. Thomas Field probably approaching 275 yards. Man, but look at Chris. That's the first time. Yes, it is. Coach, they, they, he made about eight yards after contact. That's right. His low center of gravity. Now, he, he might be 145, but he, he runs like he's 175 pounds. Coach, when I saw 175, I said, man, he's got big. And then I saw him come out, and I said, man, he's not. Uh, that's the number they put down for the college coach. That's right. You know how it works. Exactly. Exactly. Nice ball, coach. Nice touch on the ball. Yes, great pass. So he was double covered. Double covered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Brooks County coaches. What are they discussing, Coach? Uh, it's a two. No, the referees. Oh. Coach, they do the play. Touchdown, face man. Okay. What if they had called something against Brooks right here? They might have been real. Well, Brooks have to go for two, Coach. Yeah. He's lining up. Coach Freeman is lining him up for the two. Man, yeah, he's so far behind. He said he's he got to get them ready where they can get that kick in. They got a long season to go. There's too many men on the field. At least that one spread it off. Mm. Bad hype. Mm. Boy, that was a wing and a prayer, Coach. Yeah, they slid through up right here. It sure did. Nevertheless, it is good. I told you. 
But that's exactly why the coach needs to know he needs some more game conditions to work that work on that. So that's exactly what it's Okay, that's 35 to 20. 35 to 20. End of the third. Inside high school game to lose. We for sure. Insights now has its own Roku channel. Insights itself is a dream maker, providing a platform for content creators. Go with Insights Roku channel into 91 million homes. We are strengthening our programs that will continue to educate, entertain, and enlighten our viewers. We will still feature youth sports, Mick and Rick, Insights Magazine, Remember the Legends, and much more. Stay tuned for our creative content. We will continue to appreciate your support. Now that's from the face mask. Mm -hmm. Face mask, gentlemen. Got it on the 45. Coach, would you kick it all the way in or would you square kick it? I would kick it all the way in. <laughs> That's all right. I love the peanut gallery. There you go. Peanut in the zone. Peanut in the end zone. Uh. Coach, you can't the stop. Brooks County defense has not shown the ability to stop Thomas Field at all. No, not at not any point. I think we, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that we scored on every position. No, I'm sure. It's every position. Yeah. Every position. And some of them have been lightning strikes. Your light show is blinking on and off. Uh -huh. Your offense ain't blinking. <laughs> Your offense ain't blinking, though, so they steady. Oh, yeah. Your offense is blinking. Oh, it might be a heck of a game next week. Our tribal game. Yeah. Yeah. Playing again, coach. Mm -hmm. Now can't tackle. You got two yards. Yeah. From the eight to seven, about a four dollars. Nice thing, Cam. That's nice. Pick them again. Coach, the offensive line. I mean, defensive line is. I mean, no, but the offensive line. So could you slow them down just a little? That's right. Can you give us a chance to catch our win? I am truly surprised that Coach uh, Freeman hadn't changed the defense. Coach, he ran out his hands. He never locked him up. Oh, that carry was by number seven, Ant Anderson. We have a stable of running backs, that's for sure. Yes, sir. Thomasville are rolling them in. Keeping them fresh, folks. Oh, he's going to turn that on. Oh, 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 good move. Nice good move. Oh, 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 oh. That was, that was a yes, nice sir. There you go. Coach, he stopped on a dot. This is the change of direction. Right? That was an outstanding run by that young man. He's just a jewel. It's going to be a little rough as this goes on with Thomasville, boy. As good as they are now, they'll be the next one. There he goes again. As you said, Coach, there's not a lot of diversity in the offensive play calling, but what they're running, Brooks can't stop. That's right. Mm -hmm. And there's no need to, to run anything else or show anything else. And they just keep rolling up running backs in, bringing in coach stop receivers. And we got two wide out split out to the right. Slant. Yeah, one, two, three, and then they go. If, oh, that was a nice ball. Yes, it sure was. Nice ball, but incomplete. Sophomore quarterback? Yes, sir. Sophomore quarterback. Second and ten. I'm in the wildcat. Uh-oh. He didn't cross. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, that was pretty mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Coach, Thomas will get gets a little bit a little bit with the draw play, and then bam, they hit you. They hit you. There's two wide receivers over there, one in coverage. Somebody else needs to get out there a whole lot quicker. Thank you. Yeah. Great snapping. Good block over there. Nice tackle. Nice tackle. Nice tackle. Took his feet out from us. So it's 31, coach. Oh, that thing says a one on it. First down, coach. Okay, but y'all, first, first down play. That was off down play. Because we have not seen them not convert. Then we all stunned up here. That's right. But uh, if we got the peanut gallery helping us back here, right, right. we got that all going. That's right. Our spotter. We got our spotter up there. <laughs> Come back again. We gotta bring him inside, sir. That's right. Get him a shirt. Uh, and let him have him, and he can sit back there with the microphone on the side. I know that's right. Coach, coach Shorty. Coach, you just sent another lineman out there. He was done that they didn't make the first down, too. I, I really believe this will be a coaching meeting tomorrow. Oh yeah. Man, he is pad level and running low. Yes, sir. That's another great run by Mr. Cole. Coach, a touchdown. If they get a touchdown, they're back in it. That's right. What they needed to do something they hadn't done all night was, was, was stop the offense of Thomas here. Hey, I'll tell you, tell your friends, we got a real football game going on here. You need to tell them. They can find us on Insights Roku or on that app, YouTube, Facebook. We're everywhere. No reason not to see Thomas Bill and Brooks County play because Insights is everywhere. Coach, it was getting up a little slower. He is. I think he's holding his shoulder a little bit too. That, that right shoulder doesn't seem like it's, it's cooperating. Coach, you have to take him out in the wheelchair. It's just genetically, he just doesn't give up. Right, right. You're going to have to take him out. He's such a warrior. And he's going to tell Coach he's all right. But you can see he don't even put his hands on the field right there. Oh, oh, bad snap. They needed, they needed that first down yeah. that time. Sean Jordan with the uh, sack of the quarterback. Coach, it was just a matter of time. They, they had a number of questionable snaps that didn't go where they were supposed to. That time they caught up there. He at least caught it. Wasn't a fumble. It was a change of possession. That was an important uh, possession. Brooks was able to get a first down. It was. It was. It kind of started looking like momentum was about to swing in Brooks kind of favor. And uh, football guards was able to give us a mishap for the Bulldogs. Coach, they, they, the one time they put in the ball, they came very close to block. I just think he needs to be back about two more yards. Oh, off the side of his foot, he calls it. I think that ball when he shakes it, the ball is right on that 45 yard line. Mm -hmm. First game, that's my boy, 60. That, that's, that, that's a triple wide. That's, that's triple wide. <laughs> First, he's lost on that side. He don't see a bench. Now, see what he's going to do. All right. Uh oh, he got to go all the way back down the sideline. Yeah, all the way. Coach, he man, somebody should have moved that bench down there on his end. Look at he breathing hard. Yes, sir. But he, but he didn't make it to the end. He Stay stopped it. <laughs> what happened, Coach? Sam? Oh, water break. Our spotter over there. 
This is Mickey Clayton, the coach from Inside Sports. Boy, y'all know I love me some barbecue. I found the bestest barbecue sauce. It's online at BBQ Jank, BBQ, J-A-N-K, the Jank. Boy, I'm messing around with that stuff. I no longer have to mess around trying to make my own. I'll put that in a pot, put it on my meat. I'll claim it, but it's from the Jank. The official barbecue sauce of Inside Sports. You better order some for your next tailgate early. Third down and two. They're trying to get him out, but he's trying not to come out. Yeah. yeah he, got to, he got to listen to his coaches here because this is just the first game this season. He got, got eight, nine more to go. And he's upset. He did not want to come out. Coach Freeman talking to him. Oh, he can't. He can't. Oh, 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 oh. Coach. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Coach, he's delivering a blowout here. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. The sophomore quarterback um, keeps the, makes the hand off to his right side. Man, I'm so impressed with Cam this year. He, he really is playing with a lot of fours. Oh, Coach, it's, it's a lot of, oh, it's yeah. a lot of uh, it's Trojans on the There's 22 Trojans out there right now. <laughs> <laughs> is that why they were able to hold him in the middle? That's right. Right. So many trolls. And then that's two flags that were out. One on the ball. They've got one on the ball, one in the end zone. Take your pick. Yeah. A lot of laundry on the field. Coach Freeman again. Real kind of laid back. Well, one thing about it, I guarantee you he's going to have a staff meeting tomorrow. <laughs> and might even have one tonight. Might on have one tonight. <laughs> He's going to tell those coaches these pillars that are not on these kids. That, that's what he's going to tell them. Yes, sir. I can see it in his face. From all the way up here. And I appreciate y'all letting them know, letting people know about the game because we see these numbers going up. More of you watching in. Like he ducked under that first tackle. I got the Trojans hitting each other. I got number 15 and 82. They hit 62. They hit each other. Coach said Thomas will wheel trade, and as soon as that play is over, they're already making the substitution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. This is number seven. But, Coach, this yeah. time he didn't go in untouched. They've been running. They've run four touchdowns up the middle of the system. They don't have a touch. So, at least they made an adjustment on him. That's right. He carried them six yards, but. And he stood up over that cornerback and looked at him. Oh, here's the light show. Here's the light show. Now let's get the light show down here. Oh, it got Ben Tillman creation. I'm not saying I created it. <laughs> but I did have a lot of influence on him. <laughs> Oh, coach, I love it. Oh, I love it. 41 to 20. Forty-two to twenty. Yeah. 
according to the toilet. All right. There we go. Oh, they got the red lights on, everybody. Red light special. That both on bed candle person. Yes, sir. And then he lighted up. Oh, look at Light up special before he stayed in the night. Lights are red, ladies and gentlemen. And everyone in the stand has his cell phone, LED light bulb. Everyone in the state, folks, I can count the light for about 10 light bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like everyone in the <laughs> And then uh, Brooks County's got to bounce it up and down. Boy, oh, you can stay up to a minute and bounce it up and down. Mm-hmm. And then you, we down 22 points and you jump it up and down now, going into the fourth quarter. <laughs> Yeah, too late for the food on relic. Relic right now. Well, they would be on a bus if we got we got beat. They'd be on there partying and jamming. I said, y'all don't come down and do it now. Now you got two dudes that got beat. But a beat by 20 points. They got half. I better surprise me. Thank you for your coach. We appreciate y'all tuning in and watching the game. If y'all Thomasville fans, y'all real happy now. This 4220. What school are you from? Let us know who you want to see. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to us. Insights everywhere. They're 54. They had t- taking him out. He's back on special team. They didn't get lined up again. And your favorite kick return. There he goes. Number 42. He's strapped up here. He gets to the 30 yard line. He controls the 25 yard line. Nice return. Nice return. How far are you going down in your bench right now, Coach? Fourth quarter, you have three touchdowns. How far are Thomas going up in that bench? Well, to be honest, Coach, I'll probably play. My starters probably about two to three minutes, and I'll pull them off. Uh, still want to work on it. If I'm the Trojans, I would do the exact same thing because it's about being healthy going into your reaching contest. So you don't want to lose a bag. Remember, the team right now, not a game one. Mm. Oh, she's been off. Yeah. He has actually skipped quite a few of those over there. Yeah, the quarterback is not uh, nowhere near playing like he did last year right now. Right. Oh! Oh wow, man, he had another receiver open that he sure was. That's right. Yeah, he was behind it. And he had a slot receiver as well on the outside. Wayne County lifts up for Brooks. Then he called County. They lost tonight at 28 32. Coach, you ain't remember when Cook County had that running back over there named Brandon Dope? I don't remember him. Coach, he had the state of Florida and the state of Georgia and rushed over 2,000 yards. Oh, wow. As a junior. Oh, my God. Yeah, put off the team and see the team. Oh. At Christmas time, Georgia offered. Mm-hmm. Wow. Christmas time, allegedly tried to rob a grocery store and put the store in the hand. Innocent woman here, the owner of the store. Oh, my goodness. Brandon Doe, I'm gonna say he is South Georgia. In our first year, we were doing the game. And former principal Todd Bob would say, "Say you never heard of Brandon Doe?" I said, "No, sir." He said, "Doe can't go." Uh huh. Ran two five yards. That's a two. Got his game up there. Oh, oh he ran five touchdowns against Thomas. Oh my goodness. Uh, Georgia saw him. Inside the game. Oh my god. Oh man, I, I gotta go back and put that up because I know that's in my guys. I need, I need to see that game. Because he's special. 
Now, the same mm-hmm. year, Bainbridge had that running back, Damian Pierce, who was running up the rookie of the year. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Get that over here, you folks. I think that's about a 60 yard punt. Yeah. 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 Damian Pierce, the fourth of the first game. Run up. Offensive field to get last. Representing Dayton went to Griffiths High School. Oh wow. Those are the kind of running backs in the first year that we did game with the inside moves. Running back there was never ever got even one of them. And Rippers likes to tell you, he ran for 379 yards when we won the game. <laughs> he had one run, he went about 45 yards, and he carried six of them from Rippers on his back for 40 yards. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but they won. But they won. Well, it looked like they are. Thomas Field had done exactly what you said. They were going to be three deep on the running backs. Got a lot of freshmen on the flat outs out there. Sophomore wide outs, 87, 14, and number six. Uh, Brooks need to make an adjustment quicker in that second day. Trip this. Oh, they made him turn it back in. They go 50. That's the little brother of 60. That must be. They built just alike. Just alike. First County guys, you know, no hurry getting off the field. Thomas Miller had slowed down their tempo a little bit. How big the game next week, Coach? Say, how, how's it going to be next week? Oh, it's going to be on and popping, as the folks would say. It's going to be the battle on Jackson Street. Where is that game being held? Oh, it's down the street. It's down the street this year. Down there in the, in the Jackson Nest. And we are so prepared, and uh, and we're gonna go down there and really bring our our fast paced offense and the mighty Bulldogs will be victorious on next Friday night against the Jackets. Heard it from Coach Tillman, need to come out and see that game, ladies and gentlemen. Field goal attempt. Uh, uh, Oh, um, it. 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 left in the fourth quarter. It's 40 to the 20. Brooks County only travels for so many, so it's, it's only so far they can go in terms of letting people play. Ah, right, so we, we got somebody. We see you, Michael Gibson. Say, I'm a bear cat. Beware. L O L. I love it. I love it. Support your school, Mike. That's right. And we will be in Bear Cat Country in a couple of weeks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They say, couple of weeks. Of athletes out of bank. Mike, tell us what Smoke Boy is going to school now since I heard he left from Georgia. Yeah, where is he now? Smoke. That quarterback looks big enough to be a tight end, baby. Yes, he does. They still got Chris Cole out there, and we can tell him. Whoa, yeah. coach, you turned the corner, coach. You got the 45. 45 and 50. Man, he, he changed gears over there about the 35, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yes. Man, that kid is special. He is really a great shooter. Yeah, it looked like he was kind of getting that corner, then he was shifting gears. He saw a gap and shot it. I tell you what, at the end by midseason, this kid is going to be super special, and every college coach in in, in, in Georgia and North Florida will seek them. His talents. I believe that, but if you get up to the 50 yard line, it looks like that's about a six yard run. 9 16 left in the fourth quarter, 42 to 20. Our opening salvo. South Georgia football at its finest. Insight, February 
Legendary. In case y'all didn't know who she was talking about, you hear his commentary. <laughs> Coach, that's the best pass he's called in the fourth. He has. That, that, right. His delivery still has changed. He's still somewhat of a side, side pivot. Early on in this game, he was actually coming over the top. He's like he's uh, staying inside. A little slow moving, those sticks. Those counting still put me in work. 8.15. Looks like some of your fans over there have left, Coach. Trying to get the channels for the I think they're trying to get to their car. They're about a 10-minute walk. <laughs> Coach, he turned up. Whoa, he popped. Yeah. Coach, he popped through there. Look at that guy. That young man is tough. He has hit a hit we just a little slow getting up. Just fell on that football coach. We just a little slow getting up. I'm 12. Look at it. Uh, Jordan McKean. Plays linebacker, too. Wow. Stop moving, 755. Sounds good. Coach, is that wow. Yeah, there it is. That's the flag. That's right. 15 yards, dude. There's 15 yards we done had. Last time we got the 15 yards, we were able to stop. On that same side of the field, too, Coach. Right. I was going to give up 15 yards and a touchdown. <laughs> Ah, uh, Michael Gibson, I, I see you. I appreciate that response. He said we need to surround smoke with love, support, and God talk the field right now. However, the last I heard, he's looking to return to Texas a and Thank you for giving us that information. I seen him when he was seven, eighth grade. He played on an AAU team coached by my daughter. I thought he was an excellent basketball prospect. He said, Coach, that's his third best sport. He said, what? Football two to hit track is number one. But thank Mike. We, we appreciate that information. And being with us two weeks from now, we got Gaston County, Tallahassee Richards, two weeks. But thanks again for that info. Oh, That's the second time he's almost gone. Right. Not, not only that, it's the second time. He is fake the ball to nobody. Okay. I don't know if he's lined up properly. Him and Cole is not on the same page. His hands are fake hands. Oh, that's the first Seven minutes, 29 seconds. Cole, he stepped through there, Coach. It wasn't a, wasn't a big hole there. Gained about three yards. Clock still moving. 42-20. All the players from Brooks County died here at the third. Thirty-nine, they're taking their time. Right, got 12 seconds on the play clock. Coach, they're still lining up. still trying to line up. Now you got five. Coach, they're not going to get. Wow, that was close. I, I, I oh, man. Well, it's an interception by number nine for Tyler Field. Good interception. Tyreek Williams. Tyreek Williams on the interception. Coach, that was almost a no look pass. Thomasville went over the check on him. 
got an injured player on the ground. That's number 12. Brooks County. He never Jordan he he recovered from that knee. Jordan McCann, senior. Mm -hmm. Coach Freeman out there. And the principal. That's the Thomasville High principal. Person made sure I knew that. I've been checking on him. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of guy he is. He loves kids. And, uh, I think that we here at Thomasville, Thomasville City, our community, has been blessed such a young man that cares so much about you. Right. Right. It's obvious that's his passion. Yes, sir. One, two, stop, get yeah, stop! And you got six minutes, 33 seconds left on the turnover there. Coach, you. Coach, that's starting quarterback still in, isn't it? That's right. Jake Dave used to say, kill a mosquito with an ass. <laughs> he ain't let nobody up. It's like high school game of the high school game of the week. Inside the I, I, GHTS, in the middle. Inside, find us everywhere. Subscribe to us, follow us down there. Be able to see, be notified when we have a broadcast coming. HBC Sports Story, Swag Report. We'll be covering the media. Coaches press conferences. We'll be covering those. You'll be able to see it in its entirety here on Insights. Press conferences on Monday. You'll be able to see them Monday. Coach Willie Simmons, Jackson State. You'll be able to find out what's going on straight from the coach. Follow Insights. Download our app. It's free. That's our favorite word. Free. And then hook up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you got a hookup, you can get the inside there. All right, then go Levante Cole. Oh, he fought off a block there. Good job. Right. First, right. if he gets that, if he gets over there, he might be wrong. Oh, 35, 40, 45, oh. 45 oh. made him move. 60 could not make him block. Oh, got a flag. I started, let us know, Coach. Yeah, I'm At 25. Once you change direction like that, Coach, that you get a block in the back. Coach, that was a gutsy little run. It was. To have the vision to be able to see that you can get to the end on the other side of this. You're exactly right. Five minutes and four seconds left in this contest. I'm predicting. Pretty good things for Thomasville High. We'll know next week. That's right. That's right. We'll meet our cross town robbery next week. Uh, like I used to tell the kids, it's just good barbershop talk. But you always want to come out on the top end of that good barbershop talk. <laughs> Absolutely, you do. Yeah, you want to go to the barbershop if you're on the bottom end. It's cousins against cousins. 
Oh, yeah. Good old family feud. And still, Brook County Class A. They typically rebound. Schools their side. They got to bring some. That'll be Irwin County. They're pretty good. Yeah, Irwin County is really good again this year. I think Irwin County actually starts out the night with uh, this year. Oh, okay. Yeah, two, two state finalists. Oh, they got him for the screen. Yes, they did. Made a defensive adjustment that time. That play had given them problems all night long, but Brooks kind of learning from it. Which is what you want for that young team that he has. That's right. Four minutes and 42 seconds left in this contest. I think at some point, if Thomas will get the ball back again, you should see it back and forth. Back and forth. It's hard to develop the hill. Those give him a chance to the quarterback they have is singing. So they have to start getting them ready for next year. Thomas Fields front of lines up about two or three yards deep. And they still have got the one. It has not been a good night for punters. It sure has. These punters are probably negative 50 yards. <laughs> Coach, where are they marking that ball? They're still walking in. They're walking in. They're going to be the 30, the 29 yard line. Okay. The Trojans will take over. Thomas. Coach, what's your favorite restaurant here in Thomas? My favorite restaurant in Thomas. You better not say Chandler's. I'm not going to say Chandler's. I do like the double cheese. But no, my favorite restaurant, I must say, is Sacks. You sound like my wife. That's her favorite Sacks. That's it. See, I like Jones Chicken. Yeah, that's my favorite Sacks. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, that's what I like. 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 Coach, both of them better than anything we got in Tallahassee. <laughs> both of them. <laughs> I don't know, Coach. Coach, what you got in Tallahassee think is better than you think? Oh, uh, it's the place downtown. Oh, you can't even think of the name. Uh, is it? Not Harris. There is a Harris. Yeah. Harris Seafood. Yeah, Harris Not Seafood. Bad. Harris Seafood. That's it. Coach, he slowed down, and once he slowed down, the Thomasville defense started. That's right. Yeah, I think he's done a good job tonight. I think it's time for Mr. Cole to come out of here. Yeah, it sure was cold. You, that is not typically how he runs. Four minutes and 19 seconds. Coach, you say it's time to give him a rest. Yeah. Coach, I don't think that Brooks has a lot of players over here looking at the coaches. They might not. This would be a great time to get him to go. Oh, wow. Another ball. Oh, look at the receiver. <laughs> he said, you see something I didn't see? Like, where are you throwing that ball? Was that for me? Right, exactly. That's your boy number 12. He's back in there, folks. I'll tell you what, they, they got a little bit of mentality. It's the same kind of mentality you were talking about. Yeah. You can see it. They're not going to lay down. They're These guys get hurt. Players. You have to physically take them out. That's right. They are in fourth quarter the team. They all gonna play fourth quarter. Three fifty-three left in the contest. Coach, you got coach, you gonna get that? Oh, he's going to show the coach. I don't think they gonna get one to make this time. I don't think he did either. I think he made a business decision. Michael Gibson, I absolutely have to read your message. He said, I'm tuned in because my daughter is a Titusville High School cheerleader, Reagan Gibson. Shout out to my baby girl from Bandy here in Rockwell, New Mexico. You guys are very entertaining. So big ups to you guys and keep it coming. Go dogs. Thank you. We appreciate it. Rockwell, New Mexico. Oh, big number 60. Stepped just a little bit too quick. He jumped. No, I ain't gonna say he jumped. He stepped. Say he stepped. Yeah, he didn't jump on me. He stepped. Shout out to your daughter, Reagan Gibson. Coach, if you if you see Reagan, tell him to be talking to her dad on the on the show. I sure will. 
You know how they are in Thomasville, Mike. They they look out for each other. You know that. 343 left. 42 to 20. Man, the Thomasville people gone. These games like this, you got to stay and enjoy every play. Coach, he tiptoed that sideline. 336. Brooks kind of trying to score a touchdown here. Coach, what you got over here by the uh with the little lights on by the ambulance? That's the project Max, and um, he has uh, Italian ice over there. And you can see people flock down there. Those kids love that Italian ice, and they run back and forth all throughout the game buying that Italian ice. I'm not bad, Mr. Banks. Go ahead. Make sure you be a supporter to the school. And he's a he's a past bulldog. Played football here. Oh, great guy. Great guy. And I don't care what game you go to, somewhere there's some little kids got the best football game going in the whole state. And there's some little boys playing football somewhere. <laughs> I don't care if they in the concrete, they playing football <laughs> That's somewhere. Right. That's right. And they, we, we was in uh, talking about whether or not we were going to close that section off for the games this year. And everybody was 100% no. <laughs> I know, right, right. A lot of those kids to be down there and have a good time doing the game. Um, and then and some of those same kids that you're going to see over there playing are going to be some of the same kids that's out here on this football field. Just a little while. Let them grow up in the, in the atmosphere. That's right. But those are the best games. They're the ones, hey, you got to watch those kids over there. In fact, that was kind of the real thought by the Stars over there. Yeah, the one that goes to this little kid got a hell of a football game going on. And after that, that's the movie right there. See them everywhere. Two minutes and 54 seconds down there. Brooks trying to get another score. Do that back to back to a pop on again. Rush, that's his best thing is the only oh, part of that time. They didn't get him out. Get him out. And that was fourth down, coach. The ball wow. goes over. Wow. I like them making a decision to go ahead and run it because he's been off a little bit on those passes. Yeah, that's cool. Their passing game is not really the sharpest. You know, they don't have the speed on the outside like they had before. But you can take Eric Bell, those guys will be able to run up front. So you got to be a little bit more precise with your passing. This kind of does. Also, you kind of have to have it. Yo, Gang Cardo. Thomas Bill, the city. So he love it. Uh, we get a lot of love ourselves when we come to Thomasville and do a broadcast South Georgia. Very, very, very receptive. The inside team ran out of two tackles. He's not going out of bounds either. That's right. They go after the end. Tennessee is doing another good job of running the football. He's another talented kid that will be back next year. He's just in the 11th grade. I love it. To everybody, we appreciate the support. Insight, make sure you get us on your mobile apps. It's set up like Netflix, you got all types of different things on there HBC, Sports, Flash, Creative Content, Inside Magazine, Nick and Rick, remembering the legends, and we remember and recognize outstanding achievement by those in the community of Sun Nation Wow. 10 years, Tallahassee. Tallahassee home, definitely no. We said earlier in the broadcast, but I have, we've only had a month. We've been in nine countries, three in Africa. Continue to support us. Uh, and we appreciate the support we've got. One minute and 42 seconds left in this fourth quarter. We started it off in South Georgia, Thomasville. Rose City, the home of the mighty Bulldog. Oh, listen to it. Boy, we're going to see who <laughs> owns the city next week. That's right. That's right. We're going to paint the city red and gold. They red and gold. This has been an outstanding performance by uh, Thomasville High. We saw them last year twice earlier in the season. This is not the same program. 
just exactly one minute left. I just want to say hats mm-hmm. off to the Brooks County Trojans and Coach Freeman. We have a minute left in the game, and it looks like we're going to come out here with not too many injuries from any, either side, and that's always a blessing that we're going to see. As these young men continue to try to get better. I wish the Brooks County Trojans a lot of success throughout this season. And the gunslinger finally just called the dogs off and went with draw plays. And that should have been the last play of the game. Uh, 27, 26 seconds. Back with that fourth down. Number 12. Running back to turn that ball. So That's right. They will not hike this ball. Clock is moving 14. Both teams are starting to walk off the field with, with no handshakes. After the coaches. Our coach. That's that, that part of what y'all do. Oh. Get that light so going, baby. Oh, okay. I was waiting to see the bridge. We're going to light it up. Coach, you can't go too long turning that light off now. That's right. Got the red lights on. That's what I like to see, the, the spirit of the teams and the coaches when the game is over. That's right. It's hard right. fought, but it's the over with now we're bored. That's right. That's right. That's great sportsmanship. That's what we want to teach our young men. We can play with the on the competition field. Once we step outside the lines, it's all about love, harmony, and being able to get along with one another. Coach, you got the, the JV team over there just coming alongside some of those guys look bigger than what Brooks County is. That's some of the JV boys over <laughs> yes, there? Yes, sir. Some young boys coming up. Yeah. Oh, now that's how you build a program. That's right. I hear you ain't no bulldog. That's right. There it goes. There it goes. That's what we want everybody to hear at the end of the game. Hey, you ain't no dog. Ready to lead us off, camera person. Welcome. Can we get closer? Oh, they, they like it right there. I like to hear it too. Coach, I always appreciate doing the broadcast with you. Yes, sir. You know, there they go. Hey, I'm still waiting on us to do some more basketball. Yes, sir. You just let me know where you want to come. We'll be more than happy to open our doors up to insight and insight programs. That's where we started. We made the pick years ago. Yes, you did. I'll hold that for you. Yes, sir. Hey, y'all have, Coach. Y'all. We love how we treat it here. And um, there go y'all life show, boy. There you go. We love our life show. <laughs> uh, Coach, I love it. Coach, I love it. And both teams getting ready to pray. And Coach Lee, man, this again, this is a fine way to start the season. Uh, we appreciate Everybody being here, being a part of it. Again, the hospitality that we receive here in Thomasville and when we go to Brooks County as well. And we absolutely positively love it. Yes, sir. We love having you all here. That's good. We appreciate your attention. Please see the latest from insights visit our website at insights.com two eyes in the middle i-n-s-i-i-g-h-t-s insights is a copyright of mac4 enterprises a florida corporation this broadcast is produced under the exclusive ownership of mac4 enterprises and is the intellectual property and trademark of mac4 enterprise comments of the host and other individual speakers on insights represent the independent thoughts and representation
Charlie. Coach, much love to you. I tell you my, my favorite cue dog. Yes, sir. I, I appreciate you, Coach. Until next time. Yes, sir. Until next time.